Hi everyone, this is a tutorial video on how to use the Bigley Brothers E58 Mark V Extremis drone. First, when you open the box, you will see a drone with its controller. It also comes with two batteries, extra blades, propeller guards, an obstacle avoidance device, your mini screwdriver, USB charging cable, and you have your user manual and app operating guide. Before starting up your drone, make sure to select an open space without obstacles, like high voltage lines, trees, buildings, people, or pets. Also, avoid strong wind and heavy rain. Make sure that the battery is fully charged and is inserted properly. Verify that the propellers are securely attached to the drone and that the arms of the drone are extended correctly. For additional protection, the Extremis drone comes with propeller guards and an obstacle avoidance device you can set to your drone. First, ready the drone application by scanning the QR code found in the app operating instructions using any QR scanner you can download from either the App Store, Google Store, Play Store, and then install. Or for another option, you can also search and install the Wi-Fi UAV application directly. Power up your drone by first inserting a battery and make sure that it is completely fitted inside the insertion area for the drone to function as it is expected and to avoid possibilities of the battery to fall during takeoff. As soon as the battery is successfully inserted, turn on the power switch of the drone and place it horizontally on a flat surface ground pointing you. Turn on the controller and pair it with the drone by pushing the left throttle forward and then pulling it backward. A successful pairing is indicated by a beep and steady light from the drone. Now for the gyroscope calibration, move your left and right throttle sticks downward right both at the same time. Or you can press the correction button until the lights flash twice and a beep is heard. Now turn your data off and your Wi-Fi on and use it to link your phone to the drone. Go to settings, turn on your Wi-Fi, then locate the drone's name starting with Flow, which is listed on the networks available. However, if you are having problems finding the name, try re-enabling your Wi-Fi and start searching again. After successfully connecting your drone to the phone, it is now time to open your Wi-Fi UAV application that you have installed a while ago. Make sure to agree to the user agreement and privacy policy, and also make sure to allow access to all permissions asked. Then press start and wait for an image to display from the drone's camera. Now when an image from the drone's camera finally appears, your drone application is now ready. Now activate your drone's propellers by moving your left throttle stick upward. Now your drone is ready for takeoff. Here are some quick instructions on how to use your obstacle avoidance sensor. First, remove the cover off the drone's upper body near the power button. Then you will see a port where you connect the wire of the sensor. Make sure it is fitted correctly. Press the sides of the device tightly and remember that the curved side of the device should go on the curved part of the hole and the flat part should fit onto the flat part as well. Your obstacle avoidance is now successfully installed. During your takeoff, 
turn on the obstacle avoidance mode by long pressing its key on the controller and also do the same when exiting. Now when the aircraft senses obstacles from an 80 to 160 centimeters distance, the aircraft steadily moves away from the obstacle. Please remember that it is highly recommended to rise your drone at a safe height which is not less than 5 meters. And also, lastly, please take out the drone's batteries when keeping and no longer in use.